In 2009, eight different players hit for the cycle, tying the major league record set back in 1938. Without a doubt, Minnesota's Jason Kubel had 2009's most dramatic cycle, capping his night and a seven-run Twins comeback in the grandest of fashions. After playing across the street for some 85 years, there's a new ballpark in the Bronx, New Yankee Stadium. The site for this edition of Major League Baseball presented by The Show. Straight ahead, it's a rematch of the 2003 World Series, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the New York Yankees. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Happy to be with you here for this one. And as always, I'm joined by Major League veterans Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. How do we turn to you first? What are you going to be keeping an eye on in this matchup here? Well, one guy to keep an eye on is the 2009 NL Rookie of the Year, Chris Coughlin. Raise your hand if you saw this coming. Not me, but he was sensational as a rookie last year. Yeah, I don't see a sophomore jinx coming here. He's going to be good. All right, Rex, we'll hear from Dave in a moment, but first let's get to our starting lineup for the visiting Florida Marlins. It comes to us courtesy of our friends at State Farm. At home or away, State Farm is there. Chris Coughlin leads things off in left field. John Baker bats second behind the plate. In the three spot is Hanley Ramirez, the shortstop. Jorge Cantu is in the cleanup spot at first base. Dan Ugla bats fifth, he'll play second. Cody Ross bats sixth and plays right. Wes Helms, the third baseman in the number seven hole. Gabby Sanchez, the DH tonight, he'll hit eighth. Cameron Mabin will round out the lineup. He is in center. And they'll have a tough task ahead of him indeed as they'll have to go to work against the big fella, the MVP of last year's ALCS, left-hander C.C. Sabathia. A look there at the Yankees defense anchored by a three-time gold glove winner Mark Teixeira at first and a four-time winner at short the captain Derek Jeter. Chris Coughlin will move towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. The batter, Chris Coughlin. Swing and a shot toward right center and that'll fall and we'll see here Good at bat that time, leading off the game. Now we'll get a chance to see if they want to send him on his way here. John Baker will be the batter. John Baker. John Baker. Down the line, but this will kick foul. Elbow. Great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. No need to panic down 0-2. Just need to focus on making a little contact. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Now the 
Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, let's check this out in slow motion on swing track. It's not too often that guys are early on a fastball, but he looked like he was just a little too amped up that time. Hanley Ramirez is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Wow, if that swing is any indication, we are in for a long night at the ballpark, fellas. Jorge Cantu steps in now. Look over from Sabathia, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Runners off for second. Now a swing, but oh, oh, too far in front as this one had the distance, but is well fouled. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Ball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. And striding in now is the center fielder Curtis Granderson to start the bottom of inning number one. Now batting, Curtis Granderson. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Yeah, looking to run that thing back to the low inside corner, but that's not one guys will chase very often. Ball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, leadoff men on to start the bottom of the first. And now we'll see if they want to make something happen early and send him in motion here. Derek Jeter will stand in for the first time here. The batter, Derek Jeter. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. And they better keep an eye on that runner at first. Ball three. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Boy, living dangerously already here in the first inning. That's a hit in the walk. He surrendered to the first two batters. Mark Teixeira will dig in here. Swing in the line drive. And that's in there. Base hit. And now this will rattle up against the fence. The throw to the plate. Alex Rodriguez will step in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to pad this lead a bit early on. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Ball two now. And he's ahead 2-0 oh now, so he can sit back and look fastball here. Now the 2-0. Oh. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. 2-1. and one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. 3-1. and one. Robinson Cano waits on deck. 
And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Second walk already here in the first inning. He's just setting himself up to make this a short outing if this continues. Robinson Cano is at the plate as he watches ball one. And remember here, as a runner at third, you better make sure the ball's hit at least past the pitcher if you're going to try and score on the ground. Swing and a ball pulled into right. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. On to score now is Jeter. Two runs are in. But not in time and three runs score. Well, you're going to see where this pitch is again. Look at his eyes light up, and the result is a double that brings in three. Jorge Posada will take his cuts now. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. And Posada will lay off there. It's back to one and one. Boy, and this already has the makings of a very short outing. Fastball, look out! And oh boy, that looked like it got him right in the head. Well, I'll tell you what, the very last pitch I saw in my baseball career was a fastball that hit me right in the neck. That's right, I got a neck piece. And I knew it was the right time to go after that. Those can be awfully scary. Now he reaches and hits this one hard the other way. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Well, that's four straight hits he's surrendered now. That's a good job by the catcher to go out there and try and calm him down. Nick Swisher will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Hit hard, but foul. couple of men in scoring position here with none down. And he misses here. No, called a strike on the inside corner. Wow, it's nothing in two now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Just working east to west right there. They take him in on the first couple of pitches, then they make him have to reach out over the plate and try and get this one, but it's no contest. Brett Gardner will be the batter. off 1-0. This now is the ninth man to bat in the inning. one -oh on the way. And that's too high, ball two. He's really laboring through a lot of pitches here in the first inning, Matt. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. A 2-1 offering. Too high that time, and it's 3-1. Top of the order to follow here. Second and third here, one man out. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Matt, it's just been his pitch location that's been especially troublesome. He just doesn't have it today. Curtis Granderson will get another opportunity here as they've batted around now. Now a look and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back. Ground ball to second. This could be two. He'll come home with it. 
But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. Well, we'll take another look here, and boy, they are getting production up and down this lineup here in the first. And perhaps, Matt, the route could be on. Now batting, Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter stands in as he looks at ball one here. Up to an even 30 pitches here in the first inning. No, he beat it. Pickoff throw to third. And that's yeah. right there, and we're even at one. Think he gave up on that one a little too early? Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Yeah. Fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. The two two coming. Swung on and missed for strike three, and Jeter's down on strikes. Well, this is just a case where he reaches back for a little something extra, and he just fired that fastball by him. Mark Teixeira will step in with the bases full of Yankees now and two men out. Spin and a throw back to second, and a dive, but he's back in. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. One inning in the books here. The Yankees lead it six to nothing. Dan Ugla leads things off now in the top half of the second. Now back, Dan Ugla. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And after that sixth run inning, we'll see if his command is what it was earlier. Oh, has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. Sometimes less is more. They take speed off here, and he can't hit it. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Boy, and this is just adding insult to injury right now. Not only are they getting cream, but they're looking embarrassingly bad at the plate right now. Cody Ross stands in as he can't connect here, 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. And a bouncing ball, foul. Foul ball! And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Boy, they are really having a hard time doing anything with this guy so far. It's just a second out of the second inning, yet he already has five strikeouts. The batter, Wes Helms. Wes Helms swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. and that is just a terrible hack. It's nothing in two. Using the fastball to get ahead. Got some pitches to work with now. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. 0-2 count. Obviously not trying to do this on purpose. And man, that'll get you pounding your glove as a pitcher. Gabby Sanchez will stand in. Now back, Gabby Sanchez. Runner goes. And here's a fastball that swung on and lifted down the left field line. 
And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. Alex Rodriguez will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Fastball, then this one runs in on him as he has to dance out of danger there. And I think hitters can tell early that a fastball down and in is one they can lay off. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, you hate to see this happen because you never know how the other team's going to respond. Robinson Cano will step in. He had that big three-run double his last time. And that swung on and fouled straight back. A check on A-Rod, now the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And no throw, as it turns out, as he takes second with ease. Wasn't that long ago that A-Rod stole 46 bases in a season, so he certainly knows what he's doing out there. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate, and it bounces away. Throw goes to third, and this will come in far too late. He's in there at third. Well, somehow this just kicks off the heel of his glove, and the man moves up to third now. And now the bat explodes as this has popped up. And no one will get this one. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. The 3-2 one more time. And he takes ball four. A very rare walk for Cano. Yeah, that won't be lost on his teammates. That was a great at-bat. Jorge Posada will bat here. No official at bat, but he's scored a run thus far. The batter, Jorge Posada. Play ball. And here's ball four on the intentional pass as that'll now load the bases here and set up the force at the plate. Got to figure the corners will be coming home with it. Up the middle, we'll see how they want to play it. Nick Johnson will stand in. An RBI double to his credit the first time around. Oh, and he's hit by the pitch. And that'll be a painful run batted in. Yeah, but I think he'll take it, though. Nick Swisher will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now batting, Nick Swisher. And a ball 1-0. Infield's at double play depth, so they'll trade a run for two outs here. one -oh pitch now. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. and oh. He's really digging his own grave now. He's got to come in here, but he just can't lay it in there. A throw ah. behind the runner at second. Swing and a line drive. Base hit. Two runs in already here in the inning. Now it becomes time to take a deep breath and try and minimize the damage. An extra base hit here could really be disaster. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. And no one will get this one. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that is into right field, a base hit. And he's safe. And the book on this guy is to get the ball up into the outer part of the plate, but I think he knows where this pitch is heading, and he puts a good swing on it. The batter, Curtis Granderson. Curtis Granderson is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Three runs already home here. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. 
Got away with that one there, but he's going to continue to struggle if he keeps leaving pitches in the center of the plate. He hit hard to the left side. That's in there. Base hit. Well, three hits, three singles. He's been nothing if not consistent, that's for sure. Derek Jeter would dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. Now batting. Derek Jeter. And a dive, but he's back in there. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Four runs here in this half inning. And the pitch bounces off his glove, and that could be a run. But no, he'll hold it third. Well, they got away with one there. I don't understand at all why there was no advance there. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Ross is there. Let's see if they try it. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Sacrifice fly in the RBI that time, as you got to figure he got the job done there. Mark Teixeira will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line. From the stretch. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. And a good two-strike pitch. Make him go up and get it. Now a fastball. Oh, strike three called on a pitch that looked about a foot inside. Instead, it's out number two. Alex Rodriguez would dig in. Remember, things got a little testy after he was hit by a pitch in his last at-bat. Off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. A few more inches in, and that's a pitch he'll turn on. And he can't get A-Rod to bite on it. It's 2-0. This is the 10th man to bat in the inning as they've batted around here. And a swing by Rodriguez, but he got under it a bit as this will be pretty routine. Mabin is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So this already sizable lead gets even larger as five more runs cross the plate. We played two full. The Yankees are out in front, 11 to nothing. Cameron Mabin. Ready to go here as we begin the third. First pitch on the way. Sabathia really putting all of his body behind that fastball. It's strike one. And he's been in the dugout a while after that five run outburst, so we'll see if he shows any sign of rust here. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Got to shorten up your swing now and try to protect the outer half. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, this pitch looked to be up. We'll get a look at it on pitch track, and yeah, you see it. That thing's a good two feet above his belt. He's got to be more selective up there, even with two strikes. Come on, show some plate discipline. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here's the pitch. Grounded foul. Ball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away and this is as bad as you're gonna see someone swing the bat at this level nowhere close on that one now batting, John, baker. John baker stands in as he swings and misses for strike one big 
Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And fly ball. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Robinson Cano makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And that misses for ball one. Looks like it had him fooled a bit, but it couldn't hit the target. And low and inside with a fastball as he's got a hot footed out of there. And there is ball three now as that one's not even close. The ball boy will have to retrieve that one. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. I don't know if he's just nibbling here or he can't find the range, but the leadoff walk has him in early trouble here to start the inning. Jorge Posada will step in now. The batter, Jorge Posada. Next pitch from Johnson will be his 74th of the ball game, And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Now the 1-1 on its way to Posada. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well, this is one of those days you'd like to forget. He'll need an ice bath after this one's over. Nick Johnson will get another shot. Hit by a pitch his last time. Now better. Nick Johnson. And that's in there. Base hit. No wasting any time there, Matt. He gets the fastball to begin the at-bat and just shoots it right back where it came from. Nick Swisher will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And this is in the dirt here as it bounds a few feet away. And I'm very surprised, Matt, that they decided to stay where they were. You've got to be bouncing out there. The next pitch. Ball two. And now we'll see if they go ahead and give him the green light here with the bases loaded. And this one gets away. That could be a run. And as it turns out, he won't test it. Thought this would be enough to bring him in from third, but he didn't get a good break here and decided not to risk it. And look out as that gets him. So that's going to bring home a run. Well, with the bases loaded, you got to be careful if you're going to work inside. That cost him a run. Brett Gardner will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. And, oh, look out, as that pitch ran in and got him. And that's going to force in a run. Curtis Granderson will try and keep it going. Three for three thus far. Now batting, Curtis Gardner. Man, after two, man, I'm surprised he's not gone already. Derek Jeter will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now batting. Fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. And, oh. and at 2-0 and oh now, Matt, this situation's quickly going from bad to worse. 2-0 oh is a fastball. Not close. He's behind 3-0 and oh now. I imagine the red light will be on here. 3-0 and oh with the bases loaded. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Well, that was an easy one to lay off there. That was a good job of coaxing the RBI out of him. Mark Teixeira will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And this is high. A ball and a strike. But he's safe at third as he's able to scramble back. Here's the 1-1. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. And they finally get an out here as he's forced at the plate. Relay to first is too late, so no double play, but no run scores. One out here in the Yankees' third inning, and here comes A-Rod. Look out! A fastball up and into A-Rod as he's got a back out of the way there. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. 
Missed with it again, and it's 3-0 now. This is a very good hitter up here, see? He might get the green light on 3-0. And, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Well, that'll go as an RBI as that pitcher is just unraveling right now. So it's back to the top of the order now, and set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. And I'm very surprised, Matt, that they decided to stay where they were. You've got to be bouncing out there. He set now the pitch. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one and one. Spin and a throw back to second. Has to dive, but he's back. And this one is past him, and that could be a run. But no, he'll hold it third. Well, they got away with one there. I don't understand at all why there was no advance there. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Hamill. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Swing, and ooh, he saws him off with that one. Foul. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. On to score now is Jeter. And not in time as the second run scores. Comes through yet again with men in scoring position. Five RBIs in the game for him as he has just been locked in. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And the runner will score from second. Well, as you can see, that's their fourth double of the game as they continue to hit the stuffing out of the ball here. Nick Johnson will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Matt over 100 pitches for him, so he's got to be just about at the end of his line. Here's the 2-0 -oh pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. A step on the bag for one. He knew that all he needed was a ground ball to get the run home, and he was able to drive him in. Nick Swisher would dig in. Remember, things got a little testy after he was hit by a pitch in his last at-bat, and a fastball just misses for ball one. A long inning as they've hung a nine spot on him to this point. And that misses 2-0. The 2 0. Not very aggressive there as that's down the middle for strike one. And that's an indication of why he's been struggling on the mound this half inning. That pitch is right down Broadway. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Apple. Slice down the left side, but foul. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Brett Gardner would be next. And he misses again, ball four, and his control is really letting him down now. Well, the sound you hear is the train whistle pulling into the station for the final time. Just look at that body language there. That's tired. This guy's at the end of the line. Brett Gardner is at the plate as he looks at ball one. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2-0. and oh. And he's trying to run that one back on the outside corner, but it didn't quite get there. 2-0 oh is a fastball, not close. He's behind 3-0 and oh now. And he misses again, ball four, and his command is just not there right now, Dave. Looks like that fastball might have had a little extra movement on it, and he just can't hang on. Curtis Granderson will try and keep it going. Three for three thus far. 4-1. And a ball in the dirt as it gets away a bit. 
Well, they got away with one there. I don't understand at all why there was no advance there. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Ball three. Can't afford to be too fine now. The three one is on the way. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Well, that was an easy one to lay off there. That was a good job of coaxing the RBI out of it. Derek Jeter steps in now. Yeah, but I think he'll take it, though. Mark Teixeira will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one, and he falls behind now, 2-0. Bases are loaded here, two down. And, oh man, he just can't catch a break here. It's 3-0, and and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Well, that was an easy one to lay off there. That was a good job of coaxing the RBI out of it. Alex Rodriguez will take his cuts now. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. Boy, and hitters really hate seeing that thing run up and in like that. Line hard, deep into left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And a second run is across. Robinson Cano will stand in, and he's been a run-producing machine in this one with five RBIs. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. And boy, the manager's got to be seeing the same things we are. He's really getting pounded out there right now. It's a mystery to me why he's still in the game. Jorge Posada is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Nick Johnson would be next. Oh, and this one ran in and got him, and that's twice now he's been hit in this one. Well, no doubt about it. Walk the guy if you don't want to face him, but don't risk injury. Now back, Nick Johnson. Coughlin is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. And if I could, I'd tell you how many runs they scored that half inning, but unfortunately, the scoreboard operator packed up and went home. On now to the top of inning number four. The Yankees lead it 28 to nothing. Hanley Ramirez will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And this ball will be chopped foul. Who oh, has him looking silly here? It's 0 and 2. What was that? Chuck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. How about another look at this swing? Kids, shield your eyes from this one. That's horrible. Jorge Cantu will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. On the ground is second. Throw on to first is in time, and Sabathia has got himself two quick outs. Dan Ugla will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. What on earth is he swinging at? Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Yeah, he looked like he was playing cricket on that one. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And 
and he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. Nick Swisher will step in, one for two with a walk thus far. Now back, Nick Swisher. First pitch coming. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. And he misses with it one and one. And he's going to need to rein that one in a bit because he'll get beat if he keeps leaving pitches up. One one on the way. And he can't get out of the way there.